Crafty Gemini and I'm back with day 12, the last day of my 12 days of last minute DIY gifts video series. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a cute and easy tea wallet using cork fabric. project is going to be another quick and easy make because we're working with cork fabric. This stuff comes in a ton of different colors. You can see some different colors inside here. If you've never worked with cork fabric, it's really fun and versatile and it allows you to whip up really cute and small projects like this that are nice and compact without having to line it or add any additional interfacings and battings and things like that. So keep watching this tutorial if you're not familiar with working with cork fabric. This would be a great beginner project to start off with. Now let's go over the supplies and materials you'll need so you can jump right into making your little tea wallet. So for our tea wallet here, we are working with cork fabric and this is a sustainable and really cool textile to work with. It's harvested from a cork tree in Portugal and then it's backed with fabric. So it's really fun to work with. And as you can see, it comes in a variety of different colors. I use this fun plum color in here. This stuff is kind of pricey, but I'll include a link in the description box on where you can get some. But I love to use it for little projects like this because you still get a fun feel and texture without having to use large chunks of it. So to create the tea wallet, we're gonna use one exterior piece that's cut to six and a half inches this way by four and a half inches tall. And then you'll just need four little bits for the pockets. And these are cut two inches across by three and one eighth inch tall. So four pockets and one piece. So let's start by marking some guidelines. We'll flip this pretty side face down. And on this side, you can see that the cork comes with different colors on the backing. So just use a, an appropriate uh, fabric marker where I'm gonna measure one and a quarter inches up from the bottom edge and mark that line all the way across. So I have a good guide for my pocket edge. Now I'm also gonna do a line right down the center middle. So if this was cut accurately to six and a half, the middle point of that is going to be three and one quarter. So I'll measure three and a quarter from one edge and mark. Now I like to round the corners and I'll do it by folding this in half so I can round two at a time. Just take some scissors and you don't have to take off much just to take off that sharp point. Same thing to the other two, line them up. Now we'll take all four pocket pieces and head over to the sewing machine to stitch this up with a straight stitch. All right, I have my machine set to a straight stitch 2.0 and I just have an 8012 size universal sewing machine needle in here. This stuff is a dream to work with and to sew through, especially with not that much bulk that we're just applying a couple of pockets. So we're gonna take one pocket piece and place it on the line that we drew and flush along the side. This is gonna scoot it over from that center middle line so we have some room in there to fold it in half without the bulk. So we're gonna stitch along the bottom line, all right, back stitching a little at the beginning and ends, no more than one or two stitches. Then I'll bring the other pocket piece, do the same thing to the other side. Flush here and leave a little space right there. Then we'll take the remaining two pocket pieces and place them on top of these, but flush on the side and the bottom this time. You will have a little bit sticking out here, but don't worry because we'll go back and trim that flush afterwards. Now we can go ahead and stitch down the sides. So I usually will just come down here, back stitching, beginning and end. Same thing down the middle, other side, and one here. And again, we're only using about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And backstitch anywhere where they overlap and that the pockets might get some wear and tear for some added reinforcement. left to do is to trim up our threads and to trim the bottom two corners so they're nice and round and anything that might have moved on you you can flip it over and see wherever there's any excess you just trim it away all right and now we can just put our tea bags inside and if you use a contrasting thread like I did here to show you the stitching you definitely will probably want to go around the entire thing just so you have 
a more continuous line of stitching than what shows up here. If you're working with a thread color that's going to blend in a little bit more, it's not quite as noticeable on something like this. So definitely play around with the different colors of the quirk fabrics and with your thread choices. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to make a tea wallet using fun cork fabric. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you enjoyed the entire series of my 12 days of last minute DIY gifts. Now if you did, give this video a thumbs up below, feel free to share it across the different social media sites and with your crafty friends, and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.